In today's video, I'm gonna show you advanced features of the home screen on your Galaxy S8. Don't rotate your phone though, cause nothing is wrong. Make sure you click the little box on the bottom of the screen over there on the right hand side. That will allow you to see this video in full frame on your phone so that you see a little more details. If you like this, please click the thumbs up. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett where I help tech work for you. And today we're gonna to show you how to do some advanced features on the home screen. Now they're not too advanced, but I feel like they're very helpful. So the first thing that we want to do is swipe up and go into the app drawer. So if you've ever had a Samsung before, you know that there is no longer an app drawer down here in the bottom corner of your screen. All you need to do is swipe up and you can also swipe down, it will do the same thing. But Samsung recently just did an update. So if we go up here, we click the settings and then we go into the settings of the home screen. So now we can make some adjustments right here. And I want you guys, if you haven't yet, go in here to about home screen and you may see update right here available. And do that first so that you are on the latest version of this. So now at the top, it says home screen layout. So here I can choose to see the home screen and the apps, or I can just say home screen only. So when I do this, it will automatically remove my app drawer. So when I apply this, I no longer swipe up to see the apps. When I swipe up, it jumps into the search phone. I can search different parts of my phone or look at apps. So now if I go over here, all of my applications will be stored on the home screen. So to go back in and adjust the settings, you will actually have to change the way you get into the settings. Hold down and go into home screen settings. So now we're back here and I'm going to go back to home and apps and click apply. Then let's go back in and now we have the home screen grid. So right now it is set to a five by five. So I can have five apps this way, five apps this way. I can also choose a four by six. So that means there's four apps this way and there's more a longer application list and then i can click four by five so the application icons will actually be a little bit bigger and there is less room on the screen for apps but i like to have it on the five by five where the most applications can be on the screen next we have app screen grid so the app screen is when you are in the app drawer this is the apps you will see so we can do four by six or we can do the five by six where it shows a little bit more of the applications on one screen. And then we would hit apply if we want to do that. Now we have the apps button. So if you really want the apps button back, you can come in here and say show apps button and it will then show up on the bottom. I'm gonna click apply there. And then you can see that on the home screen, I now have the apps button back. If I want to swipe up, I still have that option as well. So now we have the new feature that was updated, quick open notification panel by swiping down. So if I enable that, go to my home screen. So if I swipe down, it is now going to pull open my notification, which is really handy. Usually it would pull up the apps when you swipe down. So now you have app drawer swiping up, swiping down is your notification panel. I think that's a really cool new trick that Samsung has added. So I'm gonna go back here into the home screen settings. And then the last option here is you have hide apps. So maybe there's an application I don't wanna see in the app drawer in on my home screen, I can go in here and turn that off. So I'm gonna say let's hide bit emoji. I'm gonna hit apply. And now you can no longer find bit emoji in any of the drawer or on my home screen here. And if I want to go back in, change those settings, home screen settings, hide apps, I would have to deselect Bitmoji and hit apply for it to show back up. So that's it. That is how you adjust the home screen settings on your Galaxy S8 or Galaxy S8 Plus. If you have any further questions, please leave a comment below. And if you like this format where you can see it bigger on your screen, a lot of people are using their mobile phones to watch YouTube a lot more. So I wanna to adapt to how that works. So if you like this, please leave a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments below. And if this is your first time here, I'd love for you to click the subscribe button because I'm gonna to bring to you all kinds of videos about your phone to your smart home. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.